Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. And today we get to look at Philippians 2, 14 through 16. But I have a question for you guys. Do you have a phrase or a word that is vividly in your mind from childhood that your parents used to say? Uh, I do. And for me, my dad used to tell me all the time, Philippians 2, 14, do everything without complaining or arguing. That's New Living uh, translation. Um, and that is stuck in my mind. Um, that verse is pretty self-explanatory. Do everything without complaining or arguing. So biblically, we don't have an excuse to complain about life. Um, and the reason for that is found in verse 15, and it says that we are to shine as lights in the world. See, if we are a follower of Jesus, which means that you believe that he is the Son of God and the Savior of the world, he came to earth, lived a perfect and sinless life, died on the cross to pay for your sins, was buried and rose three days later, and you've committed your life to following him, uh, then we are a part of his family. He has transferred us from the dominion of darkness and sin into his kingdom of light. He has completely forgiven us of all of our sin and our destiny to hell and, and adopted us into his family and our eternity is secure with him in heaven forever. And so because of that, we should have no reason to complain because our eternities are completely changed by the power and grace of Jesus in our life. But also as followers of Jesus, we are to represent Jesus to the world around us. And so we are to be different than the world. And part of that is to not complain. And so if you are a person that if a difficult situ situation comes up or you just never complain about anything, people are gonna notice that. And, and you're gonna stand out as someone that's different and in doing so you get to represent Jesus. But how do we actually do that in everyday life? Because we don't get our way every single day. There's bad things that happen, um, terrible things that happen because we live in a sinful world. So how do we actually live a life representing Jesus and not complain? And so verse 16 tells us how to do that. It says, holding fast to the word of life. And so the word of life is God's, God's word, the Bible. And so we are supposed to like hold fast, to cling to scripture. That means we have to read it and actually know it and let it penetrate our soul and heart to let it change us from the inside out. And so if we want to be people that represent Jesus in this dark world and, and be different, um, be set apart and holy, that means we have to know God's word and let it transform our hearts and our minds so that we can represent Jesus no matter what the situation, no matter what's happening. And so we are reminded of God's truth, what he's done in our life uh, to not complain. And so today I hope that you choose to know God's word, that you would choose to live a life every single day reading God's word and letting it change your heart. Um, and also that you remember that God loves you, that he has chosen you and saved you and that your eternity is secure in him and that you remind yourself of that truth so it changes your perspective on life. Have a great day.